Okay, before we get this thing started, uh, Lovya has told me that the Tinglometer has been upgraded for time-traveling love pushes. But he says there is a side effect. He said every time a bell rings, tingle dingles your thing. I'm not quite sure what he means by that, but I'm sure it's not going to be a problem. Welcome back to Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. We were going to go back to page 10, but then I remembered something time-related. We're going to page 8 instead. Not for a love push or anything like that, but uh, there's something to do here. Do you guys remember the newspaper in page 10? Because I sure do. And boy, did they get things wrong. Something that uh, won't be accepted on a passport. That photo is completely off. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, Iona... It resets again. Iona is still surprised. We're still not going to deal with that right now. But we have to head to the gas apple tree. Because there is a reporter there now. He arrived shortly after we left. Luckily, I have time travel powers. So we could meet the reporter, and we could get a proper representation of what went on. Because uh, if you try to take that, that janky photograph to the passport guy, he ain't gonna accept that. It doesn't even look like Tingle. In fact, I don't think we have it anymore. No, I just have the fish, the fish I forgot to sell. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to do that. Also, we got a Nim 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 here. How are you doing today? Don't steal my gas apples, they're mine. I know you allowed me to take some spinning herbs, but you can't have a gas apple. You probably have an orchard full of gas apples, how rich you are. Oh, because she's gonna be that ugly? Okay, he's very confident that he is going to have the best dance partner, and I don't even have a dance partner yet. I'm going to have to work on that. Also, it looks like she's getting interviewed. No, she's looking at a, a journalist. There's other men in her life. How dare you? No, no, I haven't. I've returned for photograph. No, I just can't stand you. Period. Full stop. You better be. I can see that. By uh, a shaggy looking guy. Like, literally, he looks like shaggy. No, they're writing about my gas apples. I've seen the pictures. Don't ask me how. No time travel involved. We've got this scruffy looking nerf herder here. Speaking of which, the solo movie doesn't seem to be getting good reviews. I'm surprised. No, I'm not. I'm really not surprised. It's Disney. Anyway, Tingle Time. Yeah, I, I'm the guy you're looking for. This is the Tingle you're looking for. Turn around. Mmm, bulbous nose, actually. No, it's more like a goatee. He does have a mole. He has those, uh... Fleshy cheeks, or whatever the heck is going on there on his face. Spoiler, he doesn't make a very good sketch. I'm Tingle! Indeed I am. You got my photo wrong. And now I'm gonna sue you for misrepresentation. Well, you know, she's like that. No, she wasn't! Look at that smile! Now the real deal's here. Forget that sketch. It was terrible. It didn't catch his tingliness. So this is the reporter. Yeah, go for it. Oh, he even has one of those new microphone boxes. You know those microphone things. Yeah, it did. A boss monster. Hmm, I guess so. It required about 500 voices. It was pretty formidable. Mm -hmm. 
Indeed. Me and my three compatriots were, like, Final fantasy it up. What? Really? Just one question? Oh, two questions! Oh, Iona. Do you know her last name is Nutspire? Uh, yes! Yeah, she is totally my girlfriend. Absolutely nothing wrong could come out of this. It was very interesting. Yes, she's my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. By the way, don't let Iona ever see that newspaper. Oh, you're welcome. All right, a photograph. I'm going to be using this in the future. I maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. All he's going to get is the nose. How about this? You get a lot more than the nose now. Epic pose. No, we need a closer look at that epic pose. Extra epic pose. Uh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna save the best for last, though. Yes, best pose. Flattering picture. Good job, Tingle. Oh, we were too close before, and then we weren't close enough. Make up your mind. I think we should do a do-over. You're not really gonna post that in the paper, are you? That's like... that's like slander. Well, we, we got a Zelda noise, which means that we, uh... We did something good. We solved a puzzle. In the future. But I have to offload all these fish. This is ridiculous. Also, Bariki isn't here to kick that fruit, and I'm sad. Oh, well, well we can't sell the fish here. I guess I'm just gonna be carting fish around. It's gotta smell like fish! Everywhere I go! Right now, it smells like fish. This, you know what? Let's take this fish smell through time. Let's make the fish fresher. Yeah, I'll just do that on the off screen because we've seen the fish. I have quite many of them. And I'll make rupees off of it. And that's all. I'm just gonna have to wait for like a next chapter skip or something like that. Now we can properly return to page 10. Because we have a new chapter. We just left from secret agent training. We got our proof of employment! Also, Bariki and Lion probably has their proof of employment. So we better check on them. Also, get a proper photograph. Something tells me my newspaper isn't current anymore. I might as well check to see if I even have the newspaper, because we're at current time now. The net of time should have left it for me. See, there's our proofs of employment. For carrying out Operation Mouse! And that's, uh... Okay, which one is, uh, Bur uh, Gakashi's then? I guess he was doing Operation Mouse by staying quiet. And I exterminated mice with my slingshot. Even though they looked like rats to me. Uh, newspaper. My paper 31. This is still a past newspaper. The net of time has kept the old picture. Man, I thought it would do some cool time jazz, like, you know... Suddenly you would see, like, the photograph just change to Tingle falling over. But no. I actually have, uh, rupees this time. So I, I don't chin out this poor fellow. Even though he's pretty bad at his job. Okay, like, once again, I did not pay for this newspaper. Tingle, you're just stealing newspapers. Criminal. Oh, we got a new My Paper 31. Has a proper photo in it. Yep, proper photo in it. The hero is caught on camera. They were able to reach Tingle. Because of the gas apple incident. It was incredibly strong. 500 forces! 
it wasn't for me, this village would have been completely destroyed. That's exactly what I told him. And it probably was true, too. It was causing a mess in, like, one area. Also, uh, Iona Nutzbeier. She is very important to me. It was thinking of her that kept me going. Because she's my girlfriend. P.S. Don't let Iona see this paper. Something tells me Iona see this paper. Oh, boy. Anyway... Is there a dungeon advertisement on this one? No, I'm not gonna steal any more newspapers. Thank you. I got plenty. Let's think we're gonna do with them. Lion Kakashi's cage. Yep, there is a Dun and John ad in the newspaper. I can't believe I missed this the first time. Yep, go to Vegetable Village and then Dungeon. Man, that's a big ad. Okay, we saw that one. Uh, something about Dr. G and gas apples and puff peaches and gas lemons that are ripping off gas apple thunder. Eagle still missed out on the cool spy stuff. Looks like Breaky's done her chicken sexing. Yes, yes, I know. He's already done. He's been doing this for most of the day, though. I was doing secret agent jazz and she was looking at chickens. She is cool, isn't she? But she's so surly! Yes, that is because she's digital. She's better than you. <laughs> By the way, proof of employment, give. <laughs> oh, that means you can't save it in your hard drive, huh? Alright, I'm the analog guy around here. I got all the analogs. So that's Bariki's proof of employment. Good job, Bariki. Payment? Hey, hey, buddy, payment? Give us the money. Show us the money. Share your paycheck. Ah, Bariki, you need to ask for payment when you do work. This is how this works. Ah, then again, I didn't get paid for my secret agent job either. Looks like Lion's done too. He's all done. Power is beautiful, and that makes Lion beautiful. I like Tingle, who has no power. Well, then again, he does have the best power of all. It's called Rupees. Yeah, but he can't stay around. He's with us. We just need proof of employment, you know, passport stuff. Also, are you going to pay us? Wait, our, our payment is the proof of employment? What if he did a poor job? No, you can't have it! Sailor Waluigi or whatever the heck you are. Ah, uh, Lion got ripped off too. It's time to trash their little establishment they got going on here. We're gonna become the Port Mafia. Lion, you are so passive! Beat them up! Punch them into the moon! I know you can do it! Well, at least you got the proof of employment. Lion, you are so pathetic at times, I swear! Yep, we got employment proof and Lion struck a pose. This, that's like a reverse dab. That is not a dab. Lion did just not... He did not dab. No. I refuse. That is not a dab. That's something else, like a Mr. America thing. What did they call it? Ah, Mr. Universe. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, him too. Mr. America Universe. It wasn't a dab. It was not. No. Anyway, proof of employment. Also, the boats have rupees again. And there's still nuts. Nuts everywhere. They got nuts all over the place. They're just loaded with nuts. They're nuts coming out your ears. All the nuts in your face, all the time. What? Okay, time to get our passport on. Oh man, I should have bought some of that level 2 food. Well, I could do that on the off-screen too. 
I like how Kakashi is just like dancing on the cushions. Yay! Certificates! I don't have to love push this lady anymore. Hi, Eagle's mom. I called him Wee Wee. By the way, we have proofs of employment all over the place. Here, stamp this. Yep, I'm a secret agent now. I have a license to kill you. Yay, stamp! Luckily, we didn't have to, like, hand her every proof of employment. You know what? I should have looked at that proof of employment because everything had different things written on them. Yeah, I'll have a chance to do that because I have to go to the window to my right now. And yeah, the passport photo. So I could look at that right now, right? I could just stand. Oh, she took them. Well, uh, uh, they're probably not important anyway. Probably something about loading and chicken sexing or something like that. Oh well. I was just so impatient to get my passport. I'm sorry. You know what? I'll take pictures of them. Like the next time I do a time thingy. Actually, I still have the save with me right now. I'll go and check them out. I'll take a picture of them and I'll post them right here. Right here, you can take a look at them. One up there, one down there. There you go. That's what, that's what they say. Are you happy? Because I'm passporting over here. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Hello, sir. No, I wasn't talking to anybody just then. You're silly. As long as your face is on it, any photo will do. Hell, I was in the newspapers recently. No drawings or written descriptions, so that sketch wouldn't work on two levels. Yep, I'm in the newspaper. I'm famous. I fought a gas apple. Also, I own as my girlfriend. So, uh, you need this sheet of paper? It has stamps on it. I collected many stamps. Actually, I'm now I'm remembering when I used to go to, like, the Pokemon League thing for the card game. And you would get, like, tons of stamps for doing, like, everything. Like, showing up, like, ten stamps. Ah, those are the simpler times. Anyway. The portrait picture. Newspaper clipping. Get your job going. There's a queue lining up behind me. Finally! We have our passports! A passport for all four of us. There's a tingle picture on it. You can see the very, very gray tingle. Yep, we did it, guys. Passport get. I don't like the photo. The photo is terrible. Kakashi, passport. Check it out. Okay, we can't use passport on Kakashi. But Kakashi doesn't want passport. Barely understands passport. Oh, you can finally board! We did it! Lion, interjection! That's what we were doing this for! Hello! Let's get going! So, absolutely nothing will happen that will be keeping us here. We got a passport! And we can go home now! Or, or to the city! We need a city home! We gotta go to the city to go to the home. Remember that. Yep, we finally got it. We would have had it sooner if you weren't throwing us out, just saying. Yay, fun! Giant boats! Fill it with trains! Don't build a bridge! Never build a bridge! Just fill a boat with trains and take them one at a time. Ah, this kingdom is ridiculous! Oh, yeah, that metal. Certainly isn't gonna pull that thing out again. Yep, that's Kakashi's special boy metal. Kakashi! One of these days, man, one of these days. But absolutely not today. No siree. Uh, who could have thought? Well, this is what happens when you whip your thing out in public, Kakashi. Now somebody has it. Now we're gonna have to beat up a thief. Way to go, Kakashi. Welcome to the second boss. We have to abuse a kid.
Maybe that's his, like, uh, being a live power, being... having that middle. Yeah, get over here! It's Steve trouncing time! Looks like he's heading into Seagull Park. Boss, stop him! Throttle him! Garot wire! Ah! He must be in clown mode now. So, we got things stolen. Now, way to go, boss. You have absolutely no help in this. Now, oh, we'll take care of it. He's cornered now. He has no way to run! Absolutely nowhere to run! Lion, Bariki, go around now. Never mind. What are you doing? I could, uh, just fish that out again if you drop it. Just saying, you're not thinking clearly on this. Even though we could easily solve this problem after you've done it. Oh no, it stink. 100 trillion rupees! How does he get that much money? Is this Uncle Uncle Rupee? Actually, yeah, you can. Like a hundred billion tingles worth. I never had that much money. I want it. Tingle would be immortal with that much money. Wait, what? So you're going for an Omega allowance. Get what? A hundred trillion rupees? I don't think we have the time for that. I would have to play this game for like three years. Yeah, good. Negotiate, because a hundred trillion rupees you just can't do. So, so we're looking for a thing he wants. What, what does he want? Well, he's desperate, and it's important, I guess. Uh, Breaky. No, Breaky's out of the question right now. Uh, we're gonna have to solve this on our own. Come on, Kakashi. A thing he wants. What does he? What, does he want nuts? Is he hungry? Does he want nuts in his mouth? What? Uh, I don't know. I don't know thing he wants. But you know what? I'm a secret agent. Let's just ask the database. I'm sure I have access to like some sci-fi super secret agent stuff. Uh, no, not right now, boss. Uh, oh, well, uh, I guess if it's at a discount, sure. So he's just selling us wafers now. Hey, buddy, I want a kid size code vanilla right across the jugular, if you know what I mean. Anyway, we got an ice cream wafer. Great. But I have ice cream wafer. Why ice cream wafer again? Why is this back? Yeah, he's sworn to secrecy. Ah. Uh, now what can I do with an ice cream wafer? Just say tickets about ice cream. Uh, oh, wait. There's an addendum. Oh, no. They're out of toys. Yeah, I think that's what a kid wants. Well, you do have some intelligence after all. Oh, back to clown mode. So, he's working two jobs. Not only is he a secret agent boss, he's also an ice cream clown. You know, it's tough times. Oh no! Ice cream wafer, no! Ah, uh, I was too busy faffing about getting offended at ice cream wafer. And now I have no ice cream wafer. I have two soggy ice cream wafers. 
Uh, can you help me with this problem I suddenly have? But I, I just got it. Yeah, well, you were sitting there talking to me. Did we get this one for free? It's kind of your fault. No, no! No, he just wasted all our time with Ice Cream Wafer. To make it melt so we could get the hundred rupees anyway. I, I'm on to him! I knew I can't trust Galeo! Not even when he's my boss! Ugh. Now, this is a, kind of a long shot, but I have an Ice Cream Wafer and I gotta move quickly. There is a dude obsessed with ice cream wafers. Maybe he got, like, lots of toys. Because of the incredibly low odds. Or incredibly high odds. Whichever way you want to say it. Probability is confusing to me. Uh, looks like he did! Hey, it looks like you have a problem. <laughs> and now you have an ice cream headache and probably diabetes. Oh, hey, by the way, bonus. I got an ice cream wafer right here. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Have a Klondike. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Indeed it is. You better eat it before it melts, because it's really hot out today. Yeah, you sure did. You were wolfing them down like crazy. Well, get to it! Then you'll die and we'll take your robot. Or that too, we'll trade it. Sure, why not? Yeah, maybe Kakashi would love a toy robot thing. Unless you have like a hundred trillion rupees sitting around. Oh, we got the Mecha Robo! And here we go, it's the last ice cream wafer on the planet. Well, actually, no, Glio has tons of them, but, uh, let's just not let him know about that. He'll probably raid the ice cream cart. This guy's Jones and he's like a druggie. Congratula Congratulations! You're now sick! Don't overeat your wafers, kids! Or you will die. <laughs> or you'll just go to the bathroom really bad. Oh, wow. Uh, good thing that happened off screen. So, we got Mecha Robo. I I'm sure a kid would like a Mecha Robo, right? Because, uh, that's the only thing we could get in this town. It's cool, it's got posable arms. Will Mecha Robo be what the kid needs? Find out next time on Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. Good night, folks.